Hi everyone, this is Athene and you will never believe where I am. I'm here in the Diablo 3 booth at Activision Blizzard and I'm here standing next to... So Josh Mosquera, the game director. I'm Christian Leitner, I'm the art director. We just heard the Diablo 3 expansion being announced at Gamescom. I'm extremely excited and I have a few questions. First, I wanted to ask a little bit about Nephalion Trial. Can you guys say anything about it? Because everybody's speculating what it is. We don't know what it is. That's awesome. It was one of the things we were, we were actually going to talk about in the presentation and uh, I, I just forgot to, to mention it. Um, so we're in Nephalion Trials. Uh, these are uh, little uh, portals that you're going to step into and we've created some really cool sort of challenge-based encounters. Like some of them you're going to sort of face wave after wave of of monsters and depending how quickly you can kill all those all those monsters you'll be rewarded with a number of resplendent chests i'm thrilled about this to hear that will the waves get harder and harder the way you progress or yeah for sure i mean one of the things we really we call them nephilim trials for a reason i mean there's a story context behind them that these are sort of trials that the nephilim sort of left to sort of challenge each other to sort of make sure they were they were the best that they could they could be but and we really wanted to sort of create these like sort of moments of gameplay that really sort of change up the experience um, for the player. So first of all, you never know where you're going to find them because it's a randomly spawned in the world. And when you find one, the, the idea is that, that you know, those, there's, so they're escalating to the point and your challenge is like, how far can you progress in the time that you have? That sounds amazing. I haven't heard anything about PvP. Is there anything? I know that you probably are keeping something for BlizzCon to announce. We have some really cool things coming up for, for BlizzCon. But for right now, sort of PvP is not something that we're going to be announcing. We're still sort of in the stages of experimenting. We really want to try to find the right way to express sort of PvP in a game, in a game like like Diablo. So, will it be part of the expansion pack PvP? Oh, it's right now, you know, I, 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 nothing to announce. But the minute we figure it out, the minute we say yes, this feels like this is an awesome PvP mode for Diablo. You guys in the community will be the first to know. I promise. Okay, that's awesome. Act 5 has been announced and I was just wondering, gameplay-wise, is it comparable to the previous acts? Is it much longer? I think size-wise, Act 5 is similar to maybe Act 2 in uh, Diablo 3. However, it's really a chance for us to be much darker because we're fighting Malthild's Angel of Death. You have the Crusader, who's uh, really one of the classes we're super excited about because, quite frankly, we have five classes that are really awesome, but we're missing that one component that was basically a heavy armor class. They have like a shield, they have the flails. For us, that was really exciting. And in Act 5, uh, of course, everything sort of ties into the darker theme. The Gothic uh, look of West March, uh, you have uh, sort of the Western European influences. For us, that's really exciting. Um, and I think players are really going to enjoy, uh, enjoy it. I've also heard and uh, read a lot of forums, they were wondering whether there were plans of redesigning any previous acts with the expansion pack. When I say redesign, it's just make changes to the quests or anything, or are they being left intact? We're not going to be making sort of big sweeping changes to the, the quest, but we definitely want to feel, I mean, one of the awesome new things we're adding is a crusader, which means you're going to start at level one and act one, and you're sort of going to progress all the way to act five. So we want to make sure that as you're playing it, that you're sort of encountering a lot of the new the new systems, the new things that we're, we're, we're adding. Uh, and again, if you're playing the Crusader, there's all new conversations with your followers and some really good sort of banter. But again, it's when you load up Reaper Souls and you're playing the Crusader, you're going to feel that, that things have changed. There's some uh, new additions to the other classes as well, so people who already have played previous classes will have some new things to work with as well. And for us, one of the biggest things that we're really excited about is the end game. And really, as Josh was explaining in the announcement, end game for everyone. The Loot 2.0, uh, we have Loot Runs, uh, the Mystic is a completely new artisan, uh, you can enchant and transmogrify your items. The act itself is just an additional act, but the entire game adds a lot more hours of gameplay overall. Is there any plans of releasing one more character. The Crusader has been announced. Is there any plans of an additional one? The Crusader is the, 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 the star of the hour with, Re, uh, with Reaper Souls. So, yeah. Thank you a lot for your time. I'm really looking forward to it. It's coming out next year, right? Some point. Awesome.